Hello and welcome Strategy Battle Gamers to another GBHL YouTube channel video. It's a GBHL James hobby vlog coming to you late on the Monday evening, the Monday evening following on from Throne of Skulls. Of course you guys are all biting uh, the mouthpieces and chomping at the bit uh, for all of the wonderful, wonderful news that uh, the hundred or so people that were there were privileged to hear regarding the future of our hobby. I'm pretty sure that some of you have got a little bit of an idea from what's been leaked already um, but without a shadow of a doubt you are going to hear from your GBHL hosts at some point soon I know that I would like to make a video and I'm pretty sure that the Palantir team will be discussing it at length on Friday as well uh, fresh from throwing the skulls of course an opportunity for all of us to go and have a little bit of fun and uh, this of course is the list that I have been working on in my recent hobby blogs it was an opportunity to repaint the Rohan and use some of my favorite models from my favorite scene in the books uh, so in front of you here you can see where I got up to now unfortunately I didn't fully 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 finish my mission before going to the Throne of Skulls which is a big shame uh, I did want these guys to be fully repainted uh, of course the three hunters I'm pretty happy with uh, probably the first models I was ever really truly happy that I'd made a big jump with my painting standard it has to be said uh, so those guys uh, slotted in very nicely into this uh, Rise of Rohan, what news from the mark uh, scene. Uh, but the Rise of Rohan themselves, of course, uh, have been due a repaint for a long time. And uh, and it's, it's quite hard to, of course, motivate yourself to paint models which you have already painted. But when it comes to Rohan, these are, of course, my absolute favourites. And to be able to paint the Rides of Rohan models, which are absolutely stunning miniatures, it has to be said, uh, when it comes to uh, plastics. And considering they're pretty old plastics, they're great. Uh, I have enjoyed putting the paint back on them. And I'm pleased that I managed to get the cloaks done, uh, that I green stuffed some of the horses, that I started the repaint on the horses, and I got some of the wood effect done, uh, and some of the hair as well, and went over a little bits of the skin, uh, and also touched up some of their bases as well, just adding a little bit of an extra... Uh, some extra turf in there and uh, I'm putting some flowers on some of the bases as well trying to get the white flowers in there um, that of course Thayer Dimensions grows on the tombs of his forebears uh, now one of the most fun parts of the project was painting Defenders of Rohan Aema and he's probably the uh, probably the most complete of uh, of all of my mission going forward now I, I wasn't unfortunately able to paint my Knight of the Pelennor model uh, in time, I made some starts to him, uh, but because I was using Marshall of Riddermark anyway, I do have a Marshall of Riddermark model, of course, that you'll have seen in other battle reports. Um, but what was amazing fun was painting the Defenders of Rohan Aema. Uh, he's an absolutely stunning miniature. I can remember when I first saw him, and you know, with it being quite a static pose, I wasn't convinced. Uh, but to paint him has been an absolute joy. Um, painting the armor it might seem like it would be an absolute pain in the bum but if you're careful and you're neat uh, it lends itself to a terrific paint job uh, there's only a couple of little things that need uh, that need finishing on him it has to be said he's not fully complete I'm pretty happy with how he's turned out uh, but I do have to go over and do the relevant uh, highlights on some of the brown leather areas uh, and I do know that the uh, the gold areas that I put on as well could do with a bit of a wash and then going over the gold again and then maybe maybe just uh, uh, trying to get a little bit of an extra highlight on there um, with the uh, with the Runefang steel that I have as well to really make that pop. Uh, but he was a lovely, lovely miniature to paint, uh, and it was also a wonderful army to field. Now I have. Uh, I did over the course of the weekend managed to put together a bit of a journey vlog uh, now I know filming um, of Warhammer World isn't uh, isn't encouraged um, but I did manage to get chats in with my opponents and show off their armies um, and also talk a little bit about how this list did uh, so I won't go into too much detail about this but the most important thing is that is that I had seven incredibly fun games with great opponents uh, and this this list really lent itself to having the fun uh, and I kind of just played it like it was an all-hero list uh, that happened to have some riders in it. So uh, I used the riders more for uh, obviously giving a little bit of shooting support, but then also chucking them in there uh, to try and get the knockdown so that the heroes could finish the job, because of course the heroes aren't mounted in this list. Uh, and it did okay. It did okay. And I had lots of fun. I was very lucky. I got to play against lots of uh, Uruk Scout armies, which was my absolute dream. Uh, and it was a wonderful, wonderful event. And I have to say, I'm looking forward to putting together an Adventures in Arda very, very soon for Hotgates Gaming uh, and using this force and hopefully coming up and being able to pit it against some Uruk 
Sky Scouts because uh, I think that would look amazing over on that channel. If you haven't already gone and checked out Hotgates Gaming and the latest report, then I think you'll be really impressed because that report comes from inside Medeseld. It is the Restore the King scenario from the old battle games in Middle Earth uh, where uh, the three hunters and Gandalf the White have to try and rescue Theoden and uh, break him from the will of Saruman. Uh, so I do suggest you go and check that out if you do love the Rohan and you want to see something cool and cinematic. Um, and I would love to put this table, in, this uh, this force on the table uh, for a battle report for you guys soon. Uh, so if you'd like to see that, do go and check out Hotgates Gaming. Uh, and if you want to see me produce even more content, of course, get yourself on the Patreon. Uh, I do, I do have quite a lot planned for both Hotgates Gaming and the GBHL podcast over this coming week or so. Uh, so as ever, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Make sure that you support your Hobbit hobby. I hope you've enjoyed following, seeing the repaint of the Rohan. I will continue with this as I paint up their horses. That's probably the next step. Um, and then I will begin work on some other things for you guys to get your teeth stuck into. Um, so we've got lots and lots of things to look forward to this year. So no better time to get out those unpainted models, get some paint on them, and get yourself coming to the next tournament. Also, some more exciting news. Ardicon, which sold out within a week, um, sold 120 playing tickets plus 14 spectator tickets. There are 24 new tickets available. We have adjusted the table planning so that we can get in another 24 players. Uh, as of being up on sale for 10 minutes, four of them have already gone and I've got double figures people contacting me in my inbox. So if you did miss out on an Articon ticket from the 21st of October to 23rd and you want to take part in what will be the world's largest gathering of SBG and Hobbit, Hobbit Strategy Battle Gaming players, um, then make sure that you get yourself over onto the Element Games website to do that. Uh, so guys, hope you enjoyed this little hobby vlog and a little brief update of all the wonderful things that are going on. It is late at night, it's past my bedtime, but I look forward to getting some content to you this week. See you soon, Strategy Battle Gamers.